Hello and welcome to my skincare, healthcare, mental health, self-care channel. My name is Eddie. I will be starting this channel discussing skincare. Korean skincare is one of my biggest things. I'm so excited to start a YouTube channel. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while that I've been on the fence on. But I thought I would start out by kind of introducing myself, who I am. And then I will get into a face theory review, which I happen to be an, a face theory ambassador for. As I said, my name is Eddie. I graduated with an undergraduate degree in psychology from California State University, Northridge. I currently work as a behavioral therapist or a behavioral interventionist or behavior technician. Kind of goes around like that. I work with children on the autism spectrum and I have been doing that for roughly over two years. Um, I am hoping to go into a MFT program to eventually do one-on-one -on -one therapy, whether it's through a private practice or working for a facility or just pretty much doing anything to help individuals through therapy. I love psychology. I live and breathe psychology. It is my passion. For a large majority of my life, I never really had hobbies never really did anything after school. It wasn't until high school that I started kind of noticing I kind of had a knack for helping people. And that's kind of where I made the commitment to get into psychology, a career where I can help people. And so it wasn't until I turned around 19, my young adulthood, that I started figuring out that I needed to take care of myself because I was breaking out. Yes, adult acne. I never really had acne growing up. Really, I went through puberty, started breaking out on my forehead, still am, <laughs> and I went to Target and eventually got a Neutrogena face wash with 2% salicylic acid. Uh, after around three, four days, I was clear, completely clear. All my friends stopped making fun of me <laughs> and I was, I felt better about myself. It was, you know, a $4.99 salicylic acid face wash that really helped me. And I never really broke out again. I had the occasional pimple here and there throughout my life, but it wasn't until 19, adulthood, or a year after adulthood, that I started breaking out. And no matter what I did, nothing helped. And so I went through a rough, 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 rough two years of trying to figure out what do I do? I did everything. I did DIY face masks. I double cleansed, literally, like I used a salicylic acid face wash twice in a row. That's not the best idea. I went to the doctors, I went to the dermatologist, I went to my mother, I went to my friends. <sighs> Eventually started going to Sephora, started going to Target, started going to Ulta, started going to all these places, trying to figure out what I do. What, why isn't anything working for me? Eventually, I was put on Epiduol, which was a benzoyl peroxide and adapalene kind of combination. And that actually worked for a minute or so. But then my insurance stopped paying for it. And so I got into tretinoin. And I will go into that conversation on a later day. But pretty much, um, I was being cleared up and that was taken away. And I started breaking out yet again. And so I got into Korean skincare around 2017, 18. And ever since my skin has improved and I've been able to really pinpoint where things are going down on my skin. So if you're watching this and you know me, I have an Instagram channel called Mota Skin. And I've been using that for roughly a year, year and a half. And it was there where I started getting the hang of social media and how to kind of teach people about my journey and how to take care of their skin. You don't have to overstrip it. You don't have to dry out your skin. You just need to take care of it because it's your largest organ. And we don't really think about that until something happens, until we start breaking out, until we get rashes, until we can't fix something with a $4.99 bottle from the drugstore. So if you're still on at this point, I just want to give you a big thank you for sticking around and learning about me and we'll get to know each other a little bit more throughout this journey. But let's get on to the review. 
Today's review is on Face Theory. They are a UK-based skincare company that focuses on very strong, active ingredients. They range from anti-aging, to acne prone, to redness, to sensitivity. I was sent over a couple of their products of my choosing to review. And so I reviewed these products for a month. Um, one of the products I did not review for a whole month, so I will let you know which product that is. But I will go in with the first product that piqued my interest. This is aimed for acne prone skin types. And this is the Face Theory Clarifying Cleanser Pro. Here, oh gosh, the sun. How is this? How do you people do it? Now, this cleanser is a nice mix of acids to chemically exfoliate your skin. This has 4% glycolic acid, 1% lactic acid, and 2% salicylic acid. Now for you individuals who don't really know what a chemical exfoliation is, pretty much instead of physical, like a sugar scrub or some sand or something abrasive on your skin, like physically rubbing your skin, this is an acid. So at a chemical level, it exfoliates your skin and encourages your skin to exfoliate, to shed off those dead skin cells. Acids are really good for anti-aging as well as for acne prone skin types. Salicylic acid helps unblocking those pores, helps getting rid of excess oil, it helps just penetrate into the skin. And AHAs like lactic acid and glycolic acid work more on the surface of the skin and help smooth skin texture. They help um, eradicate hyperpigmentation and they're just really good or for the overall look of your skin, the overall health of your skin. And this has all three. So this is a rather potent cleanser. But what I like about cleansers with acids in them that exfoliate is that they're on your skin for roughly a minute or two. And what's really cool about this one is that it doubles as a glycolic acid peel. So you can use this as a cleanser and or as a mask. So you would either A, rub it on for a minute and then leave it on for a couple minutes and then it'll exfoliate for as long as you leave it. Or cleanse your face and put this on as a mask and leave it on. I, in my experience, have left it on for like five minutes and I think that's enough because this is potent. I mean, the thing that I, the only other skincare product I can think of that is way more potent is by The Ordinary, they're 30% AHA, 2% BHA peel. The one that looks like a red face mask, like you're bloody. That one, sorry, I'm never gonna touch it. No, thank you. But this one is a close second to that, but it's much more tolerable. And even after, like let's say you leave it on for five minutes, after the three minute mark, you don't feel it anymore. You may, might feel a slight tingle, but it dissipates. And what's really cool is that you know this is strong, because it always tingles. And I'm an experienced acid user. I've had peels at an office. Um, I've tried the AHA red peel from The Ordinary, and I've done everything under the sun to get rid of acne. So this one is potent. It works. I used it for a month. I used it every other day for one minute and left it on my skin for an extra minute and then went in the shower and um, washed it off. I liked it. Every time I used it, it made my skin feel so smooth, almost like butter. <laughs> it was really, really nice. And as you can see, it, I made a pretty much good dent in there. Yeah. And that was a month use and that just went down to here. I still got all this left and it smells natural. Like there's no fragrance. It's oil free. This is just, a face wash and it gets to the point and it exfoliates. This is a really, really nice one for acne prone skin types. But like I said, it is pretty strong. So I would not use it every day and I would use it every other day, three times a week in place of your regular cleanser um, at night after your oil-based cleanser to remove any sunscreen or makeup or SPF powder or whatever the hell you are. But this one, after a month of using, I really like it. I don't think I'm gonna continue using it, to be honest. Um, it is fairly strong, 
So I think I will go for it when I need a strong exfoliation chemically and I don't want to use a leave-on exfoliant. That's probably what I'm going to reserve this for. And yeah. And before I'm over with the review of the cleanser, I do have to say, because it is a cream, a heavy cream, it stays wherever you put it. So it's not going to drip down into your eye. It's not going to drip down to your neck. It stays put. So one of the cool things I think is when you're cleaning, you're cleansing or applying it as a mask, and then you get a little bit more and just tap it onto places that are red. So they get a concentrated um, exfoliation and it stays where it's put, no dripping. So this is really, really cool. And I would check it out. Next up is the Face Theory Pore Bright N10 Serum. Hopefully you guys can see it there. I need to lower the ring light <laughs> when I show the product, but here it is, the Pore Bright N10 Serum. So now on to the serum. This is a 10% niacinamide serum, which is known to help with everything under the sun. It is like a miracle ingredient. It helps reduce redness, helps with blocked pores, helps with acne, helps with hyperpigmentation, helps with brightening. I mean, it does everything. So there's a lot of um, niacinamide 10% serums on the market, but this one, what drew my eye to this one is not only does it have 10% niacinamide, it also has azelaic acid, which has been kind of on the market um, here and there, but it's not as potent in the market. It's just starting to like rise. Um, companies are starting to come out with it. But azelaic acid is a really, really good brightener. It helps with hyperpigmentation. It helps just make your skin more even. It kind of lightly exfoliates and helps with redness. It's really marketed towards individuals with rosacea. So it really is similar to niacinamide where it kind of does a bunch of things. And I really like that, that they added both into this. Secondly, this has a very short ingredient list. So you're not gonna be bombarded with a bunch of extracts that you're probably, or maybe have a reaction to. If you do have a reaction, you know what to pinpoint it to. So the only other notable ingredient other than the niacinamide and azelaic acid, which by the way, doesn't say the percentage. So face theory, I'd like to know the percentage of azelaic acid. This also has tocopherol, 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 pretty much the scientific term for vitamin E. And it also has hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronate, wait, sodium hyaluronate, I got it and aloe leaf juice and all the other stuff are kind of preservatives and just what makes the formula stay. So I'll show you how it applies on the hand here. You can see it drips down almost like water. It feels like gel. Now, this is a nice ingredient list. It's a nice addition to after exfoliating your skin with the cleanser. See, it's got that dew. It spreads nicely. It feels like gel. Actually, it feels like aloe vera. And you tap it in, as you can see, glowy. Now this did leave me very glowy, but, and here's the con. It works, it applies to your skin, doesn't mess up with other skincare layers. It doesn't disrupt any sunscreen. It doesn't sting, <sighs> but you know what? It's sticky. It's sticky. And when it comes to user, to the user going back to a product, not many people want to go back to a sticky product. So I, after using half of the bottle, I stopped using it. And that was roughly like three and a half weeks. I almost made it to the four week mark a month, but it just, it's sticky. It's tacky. It doesn't feel nice on the skin. Um, part of me felt like it was going to make me maybe clog my pores because it was sticky. And it just didn't feel nice. I couldn't wait to put a moisturizer on top of it just to get rid of that sticky feeling. But I still had that anxiety that pores were being blocked because of the stickiness. So do have that in mind for it. If you don't care, nor do you think it's gonna block your pores, which I don't think it will. I think that's just my mind. I would go for this because it has hydration. It's got brightening, it's got niacinamide, it's got vitamin E. It's just, it's a wonderful product. Just the sticky factor was a big no for me.
Lastly is their Colloidal C Anti-Redness Toner. So this is the product, as you can see, in a nice UV coated bottle, just like the rest of the line. So what I really like about this one, the reason why I went towards it was because not only did it have uh, vitamin C and licorice root extract and aloe vera extract, but it also had one of my favorite ingredients ever, colloidal oatmeal. Yep, colloidal oatmeal. It's oil free and it's not heavy on the skin and it sank right into the skin. This was a really nice one to use on a cotton pad and to wipe over the skin. Now, that being said, ingredients are great and everything. Um, there was a day where I used it twice in a row, I, in the morning and at night. And at night, usually I reserve either like the exfoliating cleanser or I'll use an enzyme powder or I'll use something else to wash my face. That night I had used an enzyme cleansing balm followed by an, um, a cleanser that had PHA in it, which is in AHA, but still it's a lightly, it's lightly exfoliating my skin. I then went in with this going, oh, licorice root extract, aloe vera, coal, oatmeal, it's gonna be very soothing. So I put it on and I started feeling this stinging sensation around my nose and around my mouth and a little bit on my top of my eye, which I go over with a cotton pad. And you know what? I went, why is it stinking? And I checked the ingredient list and I noticed lactic acid. It has lactic acid. So it has an exfoliation factor to it. So I purchased this with the intent of soothing my skin, but now I'm, I was kind of hesitant using it because I do have other toners that are exfoliating toners and exfoliating essences, but this one, that's not, wasn't my intent. But if you're looking for something that exfoliates and soothes at the same time, and you're gonna use it once a day, I would, I would go for this because it did lower my redness in my skin, it did brighten up my skin, and it did sink. It felt tacky at first when first put on, but after tapping it in, um, it sunk in. And I had no need to go in with an essence after this. I went straight into my serums. But yeah, so this does have all that. It has soothers, oatmeal, aloe vera, vitamin E, licorice root extract, and lactic acid. So this is a very nice all rounder, pretty much. It kind of does a little bit of everything. But this one I did for two weeks, but see, I didn't give it the best trial. I have a lot of other toners I'm rotating. Um, and you know what? I didn't really want to go back to this after the exfoliating acid in it. You know, I was kind of disappointed. But if you're on the market for that, it is really nice, effective, it works, and it hydrates and it shortens your routine. This would be a great skip care routine. Um, addition because it would lessen your need for an essence and that is my review of face Siri. Thank you so much for joining me um, If you're interested in these products, I actually have a discount code that I'm gonna put in the bio to get you 20% off your first order with face Siri. So if you want to check those out, just use my code I get a small commission if you use it, but you know don't feel the need to do it. If you want to use it, put it away. You know, you want to give it to a friend, give it to a friend, maybe another day to use it. I don't know, but no need to do it. It helps me continue to do content and start something that I love. But um, yeah, so that was my review. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to come up with a bunch of other content that I'm really looking forward to. And I really look forward to getting to know all of you guys on YouTube. Well, leave a comment below. Let me know what you like, what you would like to see in the future. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay.